So I was at the kind of end of my rope when I found Jonathan. And I was just about to say, throw in the towel, I quit, <laughs> I gotta do something else. And uh, then when I went to Jonathan's event, it was just like ton of weight came off my shoulder. So when I went to the three day event, it was very enlightening in that it just kind of boiled down the, the bazillion things as realtors were told we have to do and the bazillion ways we have to brand ourselves, position ourselves, dress, uh, market, but all, all of that. And it boiled it down to its very simplest, this is who I am and I can help you. I can just be who I am and try to help people. And it is so freeing. As simple as it is, he gives you a step-by-step, -step. you can do this, and then this is how you do this. This is what you say, this is how often you say it. I mean, there's nothing left to, to figure out. So we are exactly one month since the close of the June 10th event, right? Right. Have you gotten results in the <laughs> last 30 days? It, in the past, has it only been 30 days? Once I looked at how he did open houses, I was like, you're kidding, I can just do that? I was the queen of 15 signs, banners, drinks, cookies, fragrance, candles, you know, the whole, this is what you got to do, binders, packages, you know, follow up till they die, you know, and it has so stressed me out. I had stopped doing open houses because it was like, I can't pound the neighborhood with a hundred flyers and be, the whole mega open house thing. And I thought, I, I don't have the energy. And so I stopped doing them. And so when I saw what he did, I went, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> I, I can just do that. Let's see here. For my U200, the first week, I made my calls and I got two listings and three buyers. So that was one week of phone calls. And then I did an open house the next weekend and I got a $900,000 buyer. We we're going out this weekend. Then I did another open house, got two future buyers. This is during COVID, just for if people are seeing this in the future. This is when we can't do open houses. People are social distancing. Nothing works in real estate anymore. Just to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I started using that very simple uh, realtor.com script. You've got great taste. It's a great house. Let's go see it. And I thought, who does that? <laughs> so I started doing that. And I, I got a couple just last week who wanted to go see a, um, a house on acreage at a new build. I'll be selling their $500,000 house and helping them buy another $500,000 house. So that was from, that's a great house. <laughs> Let's go see it. I'm <laughs> like, this is, this is just too easy. So, oh, and then another one of my U200 calls, um, they called back and said, so glad you called. We are getting a divorce. We need to sell our house quick. Can you help us? So went over there, got their house ready. It is now under contract. Yeah, that's what's happened in the last 30 days. I have never had more than two listings at a time, like in all of my seven years, like ever. <laughs> and all of a sudden it was like, can you list it? Yes. Can you list it? Yes. Can you? Oh, snap. I don't have a sign for your yard. <laughs> I was playing magical lock boxes, musical lock, box, lock boxes. So I put a combo on that, take the super, put the super over here, move the combo from there, put the super here, borrow this sign, be right back, put it in this yard. Yes. So um, I'm just super excited and stoked that I don't have to do um, cold calls to FISBOs and expires. I just, that's something that I just, that and pot buys were the things I hated the most. And, uh, you know, so anyway, Thanks happy to be here. here. So um, just to close, would you recommend uh, CPS3, like his 11 ways for new realtors, experienced realtors, who would most benefit from this? You know, I think anybody could. Uh, I think new realtors can benefit because they don't have to unlearn the crappy stuff we learn as realtors, you know, and that half the battle for seasoned realtors is unplugging and forgetting and unlearning everything we've been trained to. You got to do this and 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 this. And, and it can't be this simple just to do this. So they don't have all that baggage. So I think the new realtor would actually really thrive in the system. One, because there are so many ways that don't require having a database. And so if you're a new realtor and you don't know anybody, you can still get going and do really well.